guys, this home is 1.99 million. 1.990. A million nine hundred ninety thousand. Essentially two million dollars. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Anyways, don't judge me for my clothes. Washington has had some sunny days as of late. We've been hitting a 70s, a few 80 degrees days, 80 degree days, and it has been really, really nice. You know what though? Realtors in Hawaii always dress like this. I've seen it, except they all have flowers everywhere. Check out this absolute grand entrance. This house has 2,922 square feet, and we're gonna show you every single one of them. Over here, we have an office right off the entrance. The coolest part I love about this place is the USB ports and outlets. Do you know how, that, how convenient that is? You're sitting there, you're like, ooh, I need to plug something in. And instead of running to the other outlets 50 feet across, Bam, right there, USB, very nice. Sorry, John, about your cable. Anyways, it's not broken, I promise. <laughs> but gorgeous office, and look at these blinds, okay? Look at these blinds. Look how cool they are. So you can let, my stomach's showing. I'm sucking it in right now. This is how, quickest way to lose weight. You go 20 pounds. 20 pounds less. Anyways, <laughs> look at these blinds. Amazing, especially in the sun that we're getting. They're really gonna help you keep the heat away, okay? Over here, we have a grand entrance into the dining area. I mean, super spacious. Look at these high-end finishes, the millwork. And we have, I believe this is 10 foot. Yeah, no, it's 10 foot ceilings. 10 foot ceilings here. Can you imagine sitting? at a Thanksgiving table here. Nobody has to fight over the turkey, okay? You could put the turkey here and everybody has access to it. Anyways, forget about turkeys, I'm just hungry. I didn't eat all day. That's a lie, I ate a bunch, I'm still hungry. Let's move over to the kitchen and look at this absolutely gorgeous kitchen over here. Look at this island, plenty of leg space. A lot of builders, when they do islands, they only leave maybe about nine inches of leg space. Here you have a solid probably 14 to 15 inches. So you can sit really comfortably while the host, being you, prepares food, washes the hands. There's no rag here, so I don't know what to do now. Anyways, you get the drill. <laughs> oh man, these stoves. We've had great experiences lately with blowing things up. Uh, just kidding. Double ovens. I don't know if you guys know, but my house has a double oven, okay? Correction, it had a double oven. It had a double oven from the 1990s. And it stopped working, literally, it didn't work. The day that I moved in, we realized it didn't work. We went to the Home Depot, and those things are like four and a half, five and a half thousand dollars a piece, if not more, okay? Now, this is a high-end one. The one I was talking about was a little, basic stainless steel one. It didn't look anywhere near as nice as this. Double oven right here. So I bet you this thing is probably at least like 10, 11 grand. Then you have your microwave over here. Oh, look at that. That's a luxury micro <laughs> microwave right there. You know how you know it's luxury? When you can't really figure out exactly how it opens, okay? That's how you know. Again, gorgeous six burner stove over here with that fancy faucet again. So you don't have to run over here, fill up your pot, run back over here. And you have the fan. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's one powerful fan. Over here we have a nook, right? A breakfast nook. So you don't have to get your whole dining table dirty. You can just sit down, grab some cereal, eat some eggs and bacon, you know the drill. Now. Guys, this was my favorite feature on a recent home we toured. And guys, again, this is not your regular Joe Schmo sliding door. This is a sliding wall, okay? Sliding wall, that's what you get in $2 million homes. You got a gorgeous fireplace over here. You can hang up your TV as well. And you have an amazing backyard with a critical area tracked as well. So ain't nobody gonna be building here 
any time in the near future. And you have a gorgeous lawn. For those of you who don't know, it's extremely hard to get a lawn looking this nice. So an amazing lawn. You have sprinkler systems everywhere, of course. And we're gonna go back in the house because one of the things that I absolutely love about this home is the master bedroom on the downstairs. Now, there's actually two master bedrooms, the main one being upstairs. So let's go check it out. I hit a wall. And before we check out the master bedroom, you have to look at this garage because it's an oversized garage. You can park your car. You still have some space along the wall here. And again, it's a three car garage. So think of it like this. Bentley, Rolls Royce, Ferrari. There you go or a Toyota Tacoma like I have, whatever works. You have a full bathroom right here with a very deep tub for soaking, so super cool. And then over here, again, look at the ceilings. Absolutely gorgeous, very big, spacious bedroom. You could easily put a king or a California king. Most of my buyers from YouTube have been from California so far. So for all of my California buyers out there, you can definitely fit California queen bed in here. And it overlooks your gorgeous backyard. Now over here, right off the stairs, my gosh, you don't even need a gym membership, guys. You can just run it up and down the stairs the whole day. You have a gorgeous little balcony, I would call it, right? Not really, it's not a balcony. A loft, not really. You could put up even a chair over here and read. My point is, I'm getting distracted. You have a gorgeous bedroom right over here. Come on in. And again, you have used over the critical area, so it's all green over there. And then it overlooks, you even have a little peekaboo view of Lake Washington. You can launch your boat there, you can take the kids to the park and launch them off. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> launch them off the swing, whatever it is you wanna do. And then you have this window. This window does overlook the road, but it is fairly quiet. In our whole time that we've been here, only a few cars have passed and I could barely hear them. That's how nice and insulated the windows are. Now over here, you have a gorgeous bathroom and you have to look at the tile work. I love the accent at the very top. It's a double vanity and it's absolutely gorgeous. And this bathroom is actually shared with this next bedroom over here to the left. And it also overlooks the critical area, so the wetlands. You also do have a little peekaboo view of the lake. Super spacious, very nice closet, right? Functional and absolutely amazing layout because right over here, you have the primary bedroom on the top floor. Look at that accent wall, guys. This is not drawn on, this is a real wood. And again, it looks over the green belt. You have the wetlands over there and this room and this room is super spacious. Over here, you have the master bathroom. And again, you know me, I love laying in every tub of every house that we visit with you guys to kind of test it out. And like I always say, I'm a fairly big guy, 250 pounds, hoping to lose 50 sometime in the near future, give or take, give or take a decade. Um, Five foot 11, right? Spacious. I don't feel claustrophobic here. Very nice. And look, I don't take baths often, but when I do, it has to be in a tub like this. Gorgeous shower with a rain shower head. So when you're standing here, you know, your girlfriend broke up with you. You could just take all those emotions and wash them away. I'm just joking. <laughs> Sorry my brain wanders and you have a half bath. <laughs> also, if you want to stand, there's a peekaboo view. <laughs> if you look just under the tree branch. Oh, I drank two coffees today, but this is not the coffee, I promise. Um, and also take, take a look, take a look at this closet. I love the shelving here. Absolutely gorgeous. You can put your shoes over here or put your shoes over here and purses, bags, whatever you have. So let's walk over here. I always love it when a house has a, an entertainment room or a secondary living room, whatever you wanna call it. That's my phone. 
whenever you, whatever you want to call it upstairs because this room is great. You know why it's great? Let's say guests come over. You guys are all chilling downstairs. Kids are loud. I got two of them. Sounds like a zoo just with two of them. Imagine you have four five or six. I grew up with a family. I have seven sisters, three brothers and it gets loud. My point is you can send them all up here and they can be loud over here. You can pop on a TV over there across the wall and they can all play video games and watch movies and eat popcorn, put a little popcorn machine over there. You know the drill. Absolutely amazing. I love it. I feel like every home that ever gets built needs an entertainment room like this on the top floor. Technically, let's go back for a second, honey. It's even classified or could be classified as a six bedroom because you have four here and one downstairs plus this one. Now over here you have the laundry and take a look at this tile, okay? This is not your 99 cent, uh, 99 cent tile from the dollar store, okay? This gorgeous tile, bet you this thing is probably what, five, six bucks a piece, uh, possibly more. And over here is where your washer and your dryer goes, functional, really cute laundry. And the best part about it, I never called the laundry cute until now. The best part about it is it's on the top floor where all of the bedrooms are, including this one over here. Again, spacious, functional. I love the views of the backyard. It's really nice when you have a bedroom that doesn't overlook the street or worse yet, your neighbor's house where you could just say hello from the other side. So in this house, you have space, you have functionality, you have gorgeous finishes and an amazing price of 1.990 million sold to the highest bidder. So if you wanna buy this house, hit me up at the number below. I would be happy to help you out. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.